So Star is gonna try to blind them. And Star okay. is going to use Star Bright. This is an AoE area of effect. I don't know what I did. That works. Oh, lovely! And then, so that blinds them effectively? Yeah, it's kind of like a concussive, like, blinding stun attack. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Now, does that mean they can't see at all, or it means that it makes it harder for them to hit you or aim at you? Okay, the way I have this set up, it's stun and blind enemies. So, it's meant to make them not be able to see us. Okay. And then Felix, he is going to a, a begin creating a barrier. It'll it won't be he won't be able to instantaneously do it right this moment. Um, the enemies are going to have a chance to attack first. So um, I'm going to say that both Smock and Smirk will shoot at um, the first one. Will shoot at Tori. The second one will shoot at Star. Okay, so one of them missed and one of them hit. So the one that um, hit is going, the one that missed, missed Tori. So the other one is going to hit Star, and it does. So Star takes four points of damage. Now that gets reduced by two because of your armor. So that's two points of damage to your hit points. Okay. Skuller and Mully are, are stunned. Meanwhile, the other group is going to land, same thing as before, and when the five of you land, there will be other animatronics coming out. Now, because of all the commotion that was started by the distraction group, they actually will be moving away from you because they're, again, being distracted. And so the people that are, that are there um, look like them. Here we go. We've got this creature and this creature. <gasps> Love it. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> there you go, Tori. All right. <laughs> These creatures don't seem to have any like range weapons, but. The one on the right definitely has some rusty looking blade things. Um, and the one on the left has got these long tentacle looking like animatronic things that are like whipping out. It also like opens its mouth and it screeches. And it's got the, you know, like the mouth within the mouth within the mouth, like snapping. Um, and they are going to make their way towards the distraction group. They have their back to you. They don't realize you're there. Um, so I'll give you a chance to act this round if you'd like to act. Yeah, I think um, if we shoot or anything, they won't fall for the distraction. Okay, so you're not gonna I'm not. attack them at all. Okay. I was gonna say, let's start heading that direction, but go slow at first until they turn that corner and then we can dash. Yeah. Okay. I have my shield out, so I'm ready to go to... All right. I got my Tommy guns. <laughs> yeah, your dual Tommy guns. I got it. Yes! <laughs> hey, hey, it's still a weapon. <laughs> um, Henry is going to have a sniper rifle uh, on him, and uh, and then uh, Agatha, she has a what looks like a normal looking rifle. Cool. Then I'm going to move on to the next round then. So these two, I'm just gonna add them to the initiative order. They are just going to move up. They move fast. So they can move one square or 10 yards. They're very fast. Sculler and Molly, do they just automatically, um, are they just automatically fine the next round or do they make a save? Um, from what I'm understanding, hold on, let me go back to it really quickly. So and they, uh, they have to remake their save. Right. Yeah. To try to fight the effect. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's, oh. it's kind of strange. Like, they get a bonus to do that, but there's also a penalty because of the affliction level. So it's supposed to balance out. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Nice. Uh, they, they failed both. Yay! So they did, nice. they did legitimately get stunned. They did legitimately get stunned. Yay! So now they're no longer stunned. Yeah. 
and um, the, as I said, the the alien-looking thing and the predator-looking thing <laughs> are closing the gap, but they're not in melee range of you yet. Okay. So again, we'll take it from the initiative. Um, Veed is going to um, give commands to the Spark Magician, um, and this, and V just gonna say, Spark Magician, Electric Surge. And then Spark Magician is going to continue doing an attack. And it will do um, nine points of damage. Nice Spark Magician. So, uh, yeah, oh wow, it looks like the Spark Magician destroyed Poor Captain Smirk. Yay! <laughs> Wipe the smirk right out of his face. <laughs> so when when Captain Smirk uh, gets zapped, Captain Smirk actually uh, blows up in a burst. So any creature adjacent to him takes damage, including the Spark Magician. Oh no! The Spark Magician takes one point of damage. Um, he doesn't have any armor, so he just takes the one point of damage. Uh, I think next initiative was Tori. So during your turn, they get they take more damage from the fire, correct? Yeah. Um. Okay. So Smock gets another gets more damage. Uh, just one damage this time. All right. That unfortunately gets absorbed, so he mm -hmm. doesn't take any damage this time. But you still get to act. Turn. Oh, okay. Um, unless you're supposed to, unless it's like something that you have to like maintain. It like, is something I, yeah, it says it oh, okay. costs one to cast and the same cost to maintain. So I'm assuming I would just have to maintain it. It lasts a whole minute, so. Okay. So if you're going to maintain it, you can just maintain it. I don't know if you have the ability to do anything else. Move if you wanted to. If you want to move, you can move. Yeah. If I can move, um, Try to get away from the aliens right now, since if they get in melee range with Tori, it's gonna be bad. So she'll move away from them. <laughs> okay, so Star's gonna be like, okay, that hurt. All right, so since Star sees that and the X file, I mean, <laughs> the yeah, truth of the I know. squad, thank you. Um, Star's gonna do a star burst, so this is the projectile. Mm -hmm. um, on those two. So I'm rolling for that now. And I got a 10 out of 14. So you're fine. And then the damage is a 3d6. So that's... Nice. Slash R. Go for it. Space 3d6. I hope I did that right. And nice. Yay! Good. And this is a single target, right? Yeah. Okay. So Skull or Molly? Um... Because I love Scully, I'm gonna go after <laughs> Muller. I'm sorry, Muller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, you do eight damage. That's really nice. Awesome. Cool. Muller's looking pretty bad, but not. But still, but still active. Gotcha. Cool. Felix finally throws up the barrier up. Um, so you believe that at least projectiles will be protected from. Okay. Sculler and Mully will try to fire their shots, <clears throat> but their shots are being absorbed by Felix's full skill. Alright, that means um, we are back to the other squad. So does the other squad, are you going to do anything? Advancing, I guess. Advancing? Okay. If everyone's okay with it. <laughs> yes. So you are 30 yards from... Each of you is 30 yards from the Death Sphere. So if you all want to just keep track of how much distance you gained. So I, I think... Are you able to do a double move in GURPS? Um, I don't that that think it's like that. Okay. Yeah, um, because of the time. Yeah, because gotcha. of the way that rounds work in GURPS, it's super slow. So every round is literally one second. Got Oh, one second? Yeah, it's like super, wow. because our moves are yards per second. So Got it. each round is one second of time. 
and it's insanely slow. I see. So okay, okay. So yeah, so take your move, um, and that take your move and subtract that from thirty, and that's how much closer you are from the death sphere, yeah. I guess. So you can just I'll just start to band people up this round. Cool. Uh, I guess back to the distraction team again. So. Uh, the Spark Magician is going to go ahead and attack Smock. 12 points of damage. Which... Is that enough? Yes. So that's enough to take down Smock. Nice. And the Predator and Alien will come up. They're not quite in melee range, but they're getting very close to melee range. Okay. Especially because Tori moved away. Mm -hmm. Um... Tori, you're up. So the f raining fire is no longer attacking anything because Smock is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll direct my attention towards the aliens. I will. Uh, I'll do like a normal fireball spell. Okay. Go ahead. Um, and. For the cost, um, it does like one d6 for like energy point I spend, so that I can go mm -hmm. up to my majory level, which is three. So I'll use mm -hmm. I'll use three points. Uh, what are my options? Um, I will shoot it at the the one on the right. Mm -hmm. um, the one on the right. Okay, so the predator looking one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So, Six damage. Damage. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Cool. Um, and then Star. Okay. It's, okay. So, so Muller is looking crunchy, right? Like he's looking. Yep. Okay. Yep. So since he's looking crunchy, <clears throat> Star's gonna do another Starburst. Go ahead. And that. Uh, that works. Okay. I could, for some reason I can't see it on my end. I don't know what it looks like. Okay. It, yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna do another three D six. So let's. Okay. Fifteen. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that takes him out. Yes. Like he explodes. Nice. He explodes and he's out. Um, and he is close enough. He was right next to adjacent to, um, to Mul to Molly. So. Um, I'm going to say that he also, so ta she also takes one damage. Okay. Sorry, Molly. All right. Um, Felix maintains the force field. Cool. So, uh, again, back to the, to the main, to the other group, the infiltration group. So, again, subtract from, close your distance to go to the death sphere. I don't know if anyone else wants to do anything before we go to the next round. No, on the second to last round, so in two more rounds, I want to check and see if we can see how the distraction's going. Okay. So back to the alien-looking things. They're going to cl now close the distance. One of them's going to get right next to Veed, and the other one will get just out of reach of Tori. So with Felix's barrier, they have to force their way through the barrier in order to do melee range. So let me just do that right now against Veed. Come on, Veed. Let's see their strength roll. They managed to get through. Damn it. <laughs> so they were able to force their way through, um, and then they're going to do an attack. Veed takes some damage. Um, but fortunately, the armor resists resists it because he took two damage. He gets resisted by two. Okay. So, cool. Um, then uh, we go to the top. So, Bead is going to try to make the Spark Magician go and attack the alien, but uh, it's going to take some time for him to close the distance. So, go to Tori. Tori's next. Okay. Um, that one alien's still out of melee range from me. That one you were talking about. 
If you want to close the distance, you can and get within melee range of it. <laughs> but the next round, if you, the next round, he probably will catch up to you. I will um, use one of my body control spells. It, I think it's uh, Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. Plant yep. Feet into the ground. Um, yes, do it. Okay. Okay, that passes. Did, did that succeed? Nice. Yes. Do I have to make a save? Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what sort of save it is. Give me a sec. I think I will fail, but I'm pretty sure I failed. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I rolled a 16. And that's really bad. <laughs> so I'm going to look it up. I'm going to assume that I failed. So okay. he's rooted in, the creature's rooted in place. Ha! <sighs> um, okay. And is trying to reach you. But in... What it says is, okay, so the subject's feet are glued in place. They may try another resistance roll at minus five every turn against the original okay. spell skill roll to break free. Mm -hmm. What is your spell skill? Oh, I see. I'm trying to beat your spells. So I'm, so I'm trying to beat a, a 13. Uh, 15. Yeah, well, yeah, I rolled a 13, but my um, major okay. or my, I, um, intelligence is at 15. Um, it's typically a contest of skill. So whatever you okay. rolled. Okay. I'm trying to get below it, or a, am I trying to get I below it? I assume below it, it, but there's it's because there's a minus the five penalty to that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So then it's, um, you're trying to beat an eight. Next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right. So it gets harder each round Should. to break out of it? Not easier? That feels weird. That it's harder each time to get out of it. The subject may try another resistance roll at minus five every turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. It doesn't stack though. It's just the standard minus. Yeah, five. it doesn't stack. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. Sweet. All right. So Tori's done. That brings us to um, Star. Okay. So quick question: Which of the um, aliens? is closest to me. Uh, I would probably say the um, alien. It, the, the one on the left. The one on the left? So the actual alien. Okay. Yes. So, and is that the one that has rooted feet? Currently, yes. Okay. So Star is going to do another Starburst attack to see if they can drain down its HP. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. That works. Roll for damage. Okay, cool beans. That's what the kids say. <laughs> Eleven. Yes. That's the damage. Yes. Okay. Wow. For a healer, nice. Star is a beast in combat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Dross AB praise. How about that? Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. So that one takes enough damage. So it's it the the creature has its like mouth within a mouth like extending so despite the fact that it's rooted it like shoots out its mouth and it's you can see these really sharp rusty teeth um, almost making their way and it's like sharp and rusty and it's got little like sparks coming out between the teeth and it looks like it's about to reach and bite onto Tori's shoulder but your blast comes out and takes it down and it just pops and explodes. Yes! That's a powerful starburst energy. <laughs> okay. Wow. Right. Um, Felix continues maintaining the barrier. Um, Molly can't penetrate through the barrier with her ranged weapon. Mm -hmm. um, and then now we're back to the other group and they're just going to keep closing the distance. Almost there. So, you're almost there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's the... What are your distances, all of you? Um, I, have, I have nine left, since I don't have my peg glove to deal with. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait, what is what is your uh, speed? Normally it's a two, because I'm missing a leg, but I have my leg back, so it's a seven. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're going fast. Nice. Hey, thank nice. you, nice. <laughs> So I have like 12 more yards to go. Yeah. Yeah, because my speed's only five. Mm -hmm. Henry and, and Agatha are just gonna 
keep up. So I think Henry actually is is probably with up with um, Black Powder, and Agatha is just gonna be with the other three or the other two. Okay, cool. So um, back to the top again. So um, this guy is going to try to move in and attack um, Tori. He was not able to penetrate through the barrier, but you do see this his, this big, large blade just going to push, like impact the um, the wall. And Felix is is trying to maintain it, and he's saying, "Wow, this guy's really strong." <laughs> I don't know if I can keep this up too much longer. So, okay. just right. FYI. Tori, you're up. Um, I guess I'll shoot a fireball. Um, that hits. Nice. Nice. I'll roll 3d6. 10 oh, damage. Yeah. 10 damage. Oh, you nice. go, girl. <laughs> the, the robot goes up in flames and then explodes. Um, he does. You, he was close enough to you that you take some of the collateral damage. So it's only one. Okay. So you That's probably good. absorb that. Yes, yep. I do. Nice. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, we're back to the main group. So close the distance again. Anything happening before I move back to the top of the round again? No, I just, I Frankie looks over at the distraction team and in his mind is like, this is the demolition team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're taking names. <laughs> Hey. There's gonna be don't distract me before. Like Frankie's like, <laughs> like proud of it. Like those are my babies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. So in the interest of time, I mean, I think that with Mul like Molly uh, Scully being the only one left, like she's not gonna be, she's gonna keep firing at the barrier and Felix is just gonna keep maintaining the barrier. So I'd like to think between Tori and Star and V, they'll be able to take her out. Mm -hmm. So let's focus more on the other group now. And so I'm, I'm just gonna say that all of you managed to catch up and make your way into the Death Sphere. And as you enter into the Death Sphere, in the main entrance, you will hear a low voice say, I am your legally designated biological guardian. <laughs> Not bad. Dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I am your legally designated biological guardian. No! Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> and he will be with this other very dilapidated looking animatronic of this guy in a white <laughs> outfit kind of thing. But they both are going to attempt to attack that your group. So, um, before they have a chance to attack, I will give you guys a chance to do something first. Who wants to do something first? I gotta do my monologue. Yes, go into your mom. <laughs> Priorities. Right? <laughs> <laughs> This crazy is catching like a cold. Frankie's future world is as vibrant and strange as a Picasso on the ceiling. Why am I acting mushy and reckless, like a kid with too much time and too much candy? But Frankie needs help. After the help he gave to Sue, who's now Veed, who am I to complain? And then when it's my turn, I'm gonna take a shot at the figure in black. Um, I'm going to do a, an interrupt roll or reactionary roll, and let me see if I succeed that first before before I determine the damage that he takes. Okay, yeah, I didn't roll very very well. So he was attempting to deflect the uh, bullets with this large beam sword looking thing. Um, but I didn't roll well enough. And so uh, instead it does go through and it does have, you said how much damage? Uh, the damage, 10 total. 10 total you said? 10 total, 2d6. Nice, nice. 
Okay, okay, awesome. So that takes out a lot of his hit points, but he's still he's still kicking. Um, who wants to go next? Uh, I will. These guys got swords. I got a sword. Might as well. Yeah. This is get in there. <laughs> right. get in there. So I'll also go up against the bigger guy because he looks like the bigger threat, and I'll just take a swing at him with my cutlass. Oh, damage. Six. All right. Nice. Sweet. So you're you're gonna go ahead and and try to swashbuckle your way through this guy. He seems to be very well, even as a dilapidated animatronic. He seems to be doing really well too. Um, but you do get, you know, manage to get him a stab into him. He still seems to be going strong though. Um, who wants to go next? I think that's where Frankie, Frankie? comes in. Yeah. So as you know, Frankie. Sam is shooting. Black Powder comes in and slices. Frankie comes in with a nice, like, telekinetic punch. Um, same same creature? Yeah, yeah, okay. same one. Let's see if this will work. Uh, yes, it does. Nice. And let's do some damage. Yeah, do some damage. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. So you just go, Falcon, punch. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> you falcon punch this guy in black. He sails into through the sky, and he just kind of, he kind of um, penetrates through um, some of the ticket booth-looking things. Just crashes right through, and then um, he hits the back wall, and then he just kind of uh, fizzles and sizzles, and then explodes, and then the helmet just rolls on the ground. Yes! Nice. And then yes! Frankie like slides in and like slides and like kicks the skull <laughs> like back and then faces uh faces the uh the sun. The other the one. The other one. The other one. Oh, All right, oh, the one in white. The figure of white. You see? <laughs> now Black Powder finds Frankie attractive. Right! Oh, no! No! Yeah. Yeah. Up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> um so the other guy, before the NPCs, the guy in white engages, um, he will um, use his weapon against uh, Black Powder. Okay. Nice. He will succeed. Okay. And he will do... Wow. All right. So Black Powder, he's do... This guy, as, as well-trained as it seems like the black guy was, the white one seems to be just a bit better. Um, and he managed to land a slash against you with this beam of light, dealing nine points of damage oh. to Black Powder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys. So I absorb some of that. You absorb some of that. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna say he's going to aim, I'm gonna say that he aims onto your hand so you can actually stack. Do you have, Well, I thought you had something in your hand, right? I do, I have, I have gloves, but I've, Gloves. I was gonna say like I, you can attack at my gloves, but also if my torso it would stack you because I just have a coat that gives me armor. Oh, then yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that's fine. That's, your torso, attacking I, your torso is fine. Yeah, that's what I figured. Still hit really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool. So this guy's does isn't pulling any punches. Um, and then I gain. I think that. Uh, Henry is going to pull back, and then he's going to fire. He hits. Dealing. Another nine points of damage nice. to this Henry. guy. Nice. <laughs> Go, Henry. Very good. All right. But the guy in white is still kicking. So, Agatha, she's going to use her rifle to fire as well. That's a miss, unfortunately. So that brings us back to uh, Sam. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, but I do have a plus two, so it's uh, 11 versus 13, so still a hit. Oh. Nice. Got a hit. All right, roll for damage. Remember that, like Perry. <laughs> mhm. Mm uh, nice. That'll be nine total. Nice. Wow. Very nice. 
all the knives. knives. Right? <laughs> all those knives. Right? Yeah, the rolls have been good today. That's what I was missing from session zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just saving them for today. <laughs> That's oh, all. Yeah. When it matters. <laughs> when it Using matters. his dual Tommy guns, he riddles the white guy in, in, with, with holes. The white guy is still still barely holding on, but he's he's you know starting to slow down a little bit. But he still looks like he's active. Black powder, you're up. Yeah, uh, this guy just took a slash at me, so I'm gonna take a slash at him. There it is, an eye for an eye. Thirteen again. <laughs> nice. Great. Go ahead. Four damage. I don't do that much damage. Four damage. That's fine. Four damage. So. I'm going to say that you're, you know, you and him are clanging together with your blades, and you actually manage to disarm uh, the saber. So the saber, like, falls, clatters onto the ground. Mm-hmm. Give us a cinematic black powder of how you take down this this animatronic in white. So. In such contradiction to the black powder you saw in the previous world, <laughs> very dexterous, he manages to swish the saber out of his hand and then just in a quick swift motion and just lobs its head clean off. Nice. nice. I love it. Gangsta. Nice. <laughs> right? And, and yeah, and there's a bit of an explosion. Mm-hmm. Um, technically, black powder yeah. is in the blast of the explosion, technically. So. All right, so that's another three points of damage, but you can get, absorb you it absorb, all. <laughs> then you absorb it all, then you're fine. Cool, and at that point, things seem to have quieted down. I bolt to the door, because everyone looks, no one looks like they've been really hurt right now, right? Yeah, Black Powder got hurt pretty hard. Okay. I'm in the single digits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Oh, it's fine. Just keep going. I'll be all right. <laughs> Henry and uh, is going to just keep an eye out. Agatha, she's going to go over to the white uh, animatronics guy, and she's going to carefully take her hand and place it on it. And then her eyes start to go white, and she's starting to use her abilities. And after a few seconds she comes out of it and she says I know where the entrance is follow me Um, so you'll follow her you'll go over into like an employees only section um, and from there you're going to uh, find this again like double door looking thing Um, and there's a panel right next to it and the panel clearly looks new like newly installed so she's going to um punch some numbers onto the panel and then the doors will open and you'll see some sort of like elevator uh elevator looking thing um and so the five of you will enter in as soon as the elevators open at the very bottom Henry is going to, like, peek out, um, then he's going to take a device, uh, and he will jam, uh, a security camera that he sees. <sighs> okay. Everyone ready? Henry says. Just, let's do this. Alright. You guys will start to make your way down the, the hallway. And um, I'm going to say, Frankie, that you will see two um, soldiers that seems to be um, making the rounds in the distance. They haven't caught you yet, but you believe you probably could close the distance and get to the two of them before they have a chance to react. If you want to do something right now. I would then pull out one of the sleek gas grenades and I will toss it in their direction. They will fail. And they will fall asleep. Uh, is there um, are there places where he, he can like drop them in? Like 
like Metal Gear Solid style. Yeah, I'm like sure. pop yeah. them in and put them in a nice <laughs> little trash shoot or train. Yeah, you can do that. Boom, get them out of the way. Pop, pop. Um, it, let's go. The coast is clear now. You will continue your way down the hall. Everyone who is in that group, roll a hearing, please. Who is in that group? Oh wow! Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, fi- fi- um, black powder um, will hear a distinct. Um, it's almost like a ringing noise. It's like it's like your. If you feel like your ears are starting to ring mm. a little bit. Okay. And um, I'm going to say that Henry and Agatha noticed that too. So they, what's, what's that? Agatha says. Well, you sure all a don't. Hand out to stop Frankie and Sam from moving. What is it? I don't hear anything. There, uh, there's like a ringing. And then at that point, Agatha starts like to hold her head. Ah, she said this ringing. Is it hurting me as well? Frankie, like, you're psionic, correct? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, is it hurting roll... me or just... No. Okay. Any psionics, roll a will save. Oh, crap! Any psionics, <laughs> roll a will save. Oh, <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh, Alright. Oh, no! Okay, so Frankie, you are being very, like... You're being hit by this, by this. Um, all of a sudden... Um, Agatha takes off her rifle and she like aims it towards Sam um, in that moment and her eyes go white again the same as she goes when she's in a trance Frankie um, you are right now like you are sort of being like controlled brainwashed kind of thing and unfortunately because of your role you're not going to be able to resist so um so you, so I'm going to say that Frankie, you probably will also take. You don't have a. Do you have a weapon? Weapon? Said. No. Oh. Oh, you have your fists. So, um, I'm going to say that for Frankie's all attempts and purposes, you kind of just black out. Um, so I'm just going to focus on Sam for right now, since you're kind of not there 100% yet, Frankie. I'm going to have you and um, Sam and. Um, black powder react to this. So I am going to try to um, strike Agatha and see if I can get my hands on her head. Okay. That does anything. Okay. Go ahead and roll. That'll be a 15 against whatever her okay. contest is. So she has to contest and go below a 15? Yep. Oh, God. Okay. All right. I I won because I got below a 15. <sighs> so she's going to be able to dodge. She's going to be able to dodge that. Um, but because you tried to strike at her, she will attempt to shoot you with the rifle. Oh, crap. Attempt to. <laughs> <laughs> It's too soon. Mm-hmm. Frankie probably his like probably would have grabbed probably would have grabbed um, Black Powder. Um, probably not to like hurt Black Powder, but just to like hold keep him hold him to, from going anywhere. What is the other group doing? Just out of curiosity, uh... are you? Because you, I'm gonna say by this point you've managed to get rid of the all of the the rest of the distract. The rest of the animatronics nearby, like Molly. Okay. What do you think, Star? <laughs> okay. So Star's gonna be like, because you just said, what do you think, Star? Yeah. Okay. Star's gonna be like, well, looks like we got them all down. I took a shot, but I can still walk and fly. Uh, you you want to help the other group? Um, Felix. That means Felix is gonna say, I think I saw the other group make it into the Death Sphere thing, though. Uh, so they're inside? Can we go? Looks like it. Should we go inside? I guess our distraction worked. That's right! <laughs> Let us move forward! <laughs> She's being very theatrical. Let us move forward, dear friends, to glorious victory! 
Tori just kind of shoots him a funny look. <laughs> right? <laughs> Star's like, ow, my side. That. that whiskey, that scotch. I think yeah. you had a little too much to drink, maybe. <laughs> 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 All right, so I guess yeah. we better go check on him. Y you sure you're okay, Star? Uh, I have healing powers. I'll be fine. Oh wait, matter of fact, should I do a healing <laughs> roll? I didn't even think about that. You can take a turn to do that. I I can't heal you. <laughs> uh, first aid. Let's see what I got. Ah, yes. But um, I'm only able to cure, um, heal one hit point, yes? Because I remember that from last time. So, Star is now back at 10. Mm -hmm. So Frankie just grabbed me. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, with my intelligence, I can put together the ringing equal what's going on here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to reach up, put my hands on Frankie's face. Very gently. Frankie, you know you don't want to do this. You can fight it. You're stronger than this. I know you are. I'm going to give him a kiss on the forehead. Oh! Roll me. Can I yeah, use my voice say... for this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, let's go. Ahead. Let's go. All right, let's go. Love it. <laughs> Save me, Black Powder. You're my only hope. Right. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> plus two. <laughs> so I get. Shit. Wait. <sighs> I guess this is just gonna be my straight IQ because it's not a skill. But I, okay. like, this isn't acting or fast talking. <laughs> Do you have persuasion? Oh, uh, persuasion? I think you could. Use persuasion. Fast? That's fast talking. That's fast talking. Fast talking, okay. Use fast talking. Right. So I get. Yeah. Yes! Okay. You succeed, which means I will allow Frankie to s try to save again, <gasps> but with a, with a, you got a 12 versus 17, with a plus one Wait. bonus. Hold on, yes. can I use my luck to try and get a better roll? If you to want to, yes. Better, uh, if you want to, yes, you may. I will do that, so I get a roll two more times. <laughs> Go ahead and take the oh. best of the roll. Nice. Nine's the book, but... Yes! <laughs> okay. Yes! Cool. Plus two bonus. My okay. So plus two bonus. Oh. This is lovely. With my voice, it's actually a seven. No. With voice. Oh, it's it's actually seven instead of nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Plus three bonus. No. Plus nine. three. Oh. I still don't make it. Oh. I rolled too high. Okay. Okay. We tried. We tried. We oh. tried. It looked like he was starting, starting to come out of it, but ugh, something, the ringing is still going, like it's still, it's still going, it's so powerful. Okay. But you were close. I'm sorry, my <laughs> Oh god. Oh. One shot me with one of your punches, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't want Frankie's falcon punch. Henry has this rifle, and he's aiming it right at um, Frankie right now and he's got this look in his face like almost like I always wanted to do this I always wanted to be in this position but his voice in desperation says what are you doing how can you fail us now we're so close how can you fail him now why now he says looking at you do you have a chance to force a response Frankie, you still have no, not total control of your body, but you're, you can at least force a, some sort of response at him if you'd like. Can't fail now. Whatever happened to you would never hurt him. Whatever happened to, to you proving me wrong, huh? Right. Sorry. Meanwhile, um, so Sam, you're still, Agatha's still um, engaging with you, and Agatha is just going to say in a very cold voice, uh, she's going to say, come quietly, or we will shoot to kill. I'm going to say, okay, I'll come quiet, I'll come quiet, and put my hands up. All right. Is Frankie so big and strong, he'll probably be able to, on his own, hold on to both. Sam and 
black powder. So now, um, now we have Agatha. Um, she now turns a rifle and she aims towards, um, towards Henry. And she's gonna say, stand down. Henry does not drop his gun. And he's got his gun and he's aiming it right at Agatha. And he says, Agatha, don't do this. You just had a bullet sent to your head a few days ago and I don't think you want another one. Agatha says, drop the weapon or I will fire. He says, you know I'm a better shot than you. I will shoot you if I have to. For him, I would do it. You know this. And Agatha is going to say, one more time, drop the gun. Um, and it's just this big standoff between the two of them. Does Sam or, or uh, Black Potter say anything just out of curiosity before I move? Advance. He doesn't, but he's going to be making direct eye contact with Henry, just watching him. I want to, um, I still want to try to grab Agatha if I'm, or no, 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 with Frankie holding my shoulder, I want to reach back and touch his hand to see if that starts um, making him black and white and taking away his psychic link. Okay. All right. So Sam is going to take a hold of Frankie's hand and yeah Frankie's hand starts to um go up his hand and uh his hand starts to turn black and white um and Frankie you can start to feel like you're beginning to regain control of that hand just beginning to I don't know if Sam notices that um and then Agatha like looks over at Sam and, and says, what are you doing? Stop that, she says. Does Sam stop? Uh, or does he keep going? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to bluff it and just say, oh, he's just pinching too tight. I'm just trying to get a little room. Okay. Um, do you wanna roll? I'm not great at this. I'm not great at this. Uh, she's already suspicious, so I'm gonna give you a minus two penalty because she's already suspicious. All right. Got this. I'm gonna have to say that's gonna have to be an IQ. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh my All right. goodness. Nice. So she. Well, okay. So she she realizes it's not you or it's not you doing that, but she's going to be, like, a little curious about the, um, about the, um, about the black and white thing. Um, and Henry, in that moment, is going to try to make a move. Um, and then she turns the rifle back to Henry, so she's no longer paying attention to, to what's going on with, um, with, uh, Frankie. And she's aiming that gun still at Henry, and she says, last warning, drop the weapon. And Henry says, Agatha, it's, you know, it's, it's you or him. You know which one I'm going to choose. Um, and in that moment, Agatha pulls the trigger of a rifle, and you hear a bang. And then you see this trickle of blood going down Agatha's temple and she falls over collapses and then and Henry has got the sniper rifle in his hand he's his hand starts shaking and he's just frozen at what he just did and then he just drops the rifle next to him and then he backs up against the wall looking horrified. Henry looks absolutely terrified. Normally his eyes are very calm and cool. And he just kind of slowly slides down onto the floor. And he goes, What have I done? And then he, and at that moment, that's when, um, that's when, um, Frankie is 
completely black and white, and you gain full control of yourself. Mm. At this point, like, tears are, like, pouring out of Frankie right now. He lets go of his two companions and just yells out, like, No! And he runs towards Agatha immediately. You run towards Agatha. Does that mean that you break away from Sam? Yeah. No, I won't let him. As he starts to go, I'm just going to keep a hold of him. So you're going to have a hold of him. You're going to try to hold on to me. Yeah. All right. And I'm just trying to like still like, I'm bringing you with me then. (laughs) Um, um, As we both then end up at Agatha's body. um, And I turn to Henry. How could could you? Could you do this? Uh, And then Henry says, I... I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice, he says. What? Frankie, it's okay. He, he didn't have a choice. It was the way it played out, or it wouldn't have been anything. And I just... We gotta see if there's anything we can do for her, but we gotta keep going. like holding onto Agatha tightly. Blood is probably just pouring all over me at this point. You're, if you do a quick assessment of her, she's not breathing. I'll gently caress her face and try to cover her wound with her hair. And then I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then I'll just leave her. Meanwhile, while this is all happening, the other group has finally made their way into the Death Sphere. And as you guys come into the entrance, you're going to see the white animatronic and the black body of the other animatronic with the helmet. And all of a sudden, Fila just kind of stops and he holds his head. Ow! What was that? He says as he as he holds the side of his temple. Are you okay, Felix? Yeah, I'm fine. I just had this sudden, like, sting on the side of my head here. <sighs> it's weird. The last time that happened was a couple days ago. Wait, this, this has happened before? Where's Agatha? He says, we have to get down there, quick. What, what, what happened before? When Agatha got shot, I felt it. That, that pain? Yeah, so we need to go find her now. Let's go. We need go. to find that entrance. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to go and try to find that entrance. Back to the other group. Roll a, for those of you who are with the other group, go ahead and roll a hearing. Okay. Frankie and Sam, you will hear hurried footsteps coming down the hall, coming towards your direction. They're coming. They're coming. Henry's still frozen in place. He's like, he's not moving where he is. He's he's not completely himself at the moment. Black I'm Power, gonna, help I'm him. Gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna pull Henry to his feet by the arm, like just yank him up I understand this is rough, but we don't have time right now. If we if we stay here much longer, more people are going to die. So let's get moving. We have to find Victor. That's why we're here. Exactly. Let's just get it done. Frankie, we'll mourn for her later, I promise. But right now we need to save more people, all right? I can't just leave her, though. We'll get her on the way back. And then Frankie reluctantly gets up from the floor, still like, you know, Sam holding on to him and uh, like waiting for you guys to lead. Sam, don't let go of him. Henry, do what you can to get him through the door. So I'll, I'll stay here and hold off whatever's coming. Okay. So Black Powder is going to stay behind. Mm-hmm. 
and the rest of them are just gonna try to get out of there. Yep. So you're just gonna be with the with the body right now, Black Powder, right? Yeah, he's just gonna be sitting okay. there like down the hallway where he heard where the footsteps were heard. Okay. It's like facing off, like he's getting ready to protect the hallway, basically like a bottleneck. There will be yeah. So there's gonna be these two guards rushing with rifles coming down the hallway. And as soon as they see you, they're going to yell out, Hey! And they're just going to make their way towards you with their, with, their, our, with their weapons aimed towards you. Question. They mentioned they had grenades. Would it have been possible for me to take a normal grenade, one that actually does an explosion, not an EMP? Sure. Sure. Yeah, once, yeah. once they get close enough, I'm just going to chuck a grenade at them. Yeah, go ahead. How do I do that? (laughs) Roll 3d6. Yeah, it's like a throw skill. You just throw maybe like a dex. (laughs) Yeah, dex. I would roll your dex. Probably makes something specific for range. My Mm -hmm. dex ain't amazing, but yeah. You got this. Hey, I succeed! (laughs) (laughs) My dex is a 10. (laughs) You manage to throw the grenade right at their feet and... They're going to try to duck out of the way, but it'll be too late, and there'll be this big explosion, um, and there's just nothing left, like, as soon as as soon as you throw it. Um, and then moments later, you'll start to hear an alarm system going off. <sighs> Meanwhile, um, Sam and Frankie, um, you guys are moving with Henry. And you will eventually find what appears to be the entrance into some sort of lab. And um, Frankie, you're going to see that there is a scientist right now going through um, some papers in the lab. And it's Victor. <clears throat> um, do I, is it like through a window or am I in an open door area? It's, you're looking through a window, Okay. so in order to get into the room, you're going to have to, like, it looks like it's got some sort of security panel that you're going to have to punch some numbers in. Okay. Still holding on to Sam. Um, just pound onto the window. Um, you're going to pound on the window. Uh, Victor looks towards your direction. And as soon as he sees you, he drops the clipboard thing on his hand. And then he's going to start to rush up to the window. And then he's just going to put his hands up against you. And he's going to say, you can't hear him through the window, but he's, you can hear him say, like, like, yelling out towards you. And I'm, I'm like looking desperately on how to get into this thing. Um, still being black and white, right? Um, Henry already has his device out and he's going to start to hack the, the panel mm-hmm. and he's going to start working it and while that's happening that's when the alarms start to go off I'm going to holding on to Frankie I'm going to try to see if I can reach the panel as well to see if I can't make it as basic for Henry as possible so are you still are you still holding on to Frankie at the moment? Yeah. Okay. So you place your hand onto the panel, and the panel starts to turn black and white, and then it turns into more of a like 1920s kind of PA system looking thing instead. And Henry goes, "Wow, how long have you been able to do that?" Not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was easy. He just tops it, and then the door swings open. Um, And what happens when the door opens? I rush in. I kind of push Henry through. um, (laughs) And I come into the room. Victor, Victor, are you okay? So since I'm assuming you're going to be rushing very quickly to get to Victor, so in order for you to stay on him, um, Sam, you're going to need to roll a strength for me. <laughs> roll a strength and let me see what you get. 12? Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> you... Because, I mean, this makes sense. Yeah. Like, right now, like, Frankie's not thinking completely straight. So, he kind of just rushes in. 
you lose a grip of him, and so he's gonna start to slowly go back into color. Um, you go over to Victor. Uh, Victor immediately goes into your your chest, and he just wraps his arms around you, and he says, Frankie, uh, how did you find me? It is a long story. We've done everything to get to you. Are you okay? Are you safe? I, I I'm okay. I'm okay. He says, and then and so you have you have him clutched around you, and then suddenly you hear Victor Victor say, "You're kind of holding me pretty tight, though, Frankie. Uh, it's starting to hurt a little bit." And without you being able to control yourself, you're just squeezing, and squeezing, and squeezing, and uh, Victor is starting to like yelp in pain. Uh, Sam, do you want to do something? Yeah, I definitely want to get back a grip on Frankie, just like on the back, right on his spine, so it, it uh, goes, and just tell Henry to um, turn off the, the alarms, shut that noise down. Oh, crap. Frank, uh, Frankie, you will regain control of your body again as, lo- as long as Sam maintains contact with you. And Henry, you told Henry to try to take the arms. Yeah. So there's going to be soldiers coming towards you now, mm-hmm. this time with General Kerwin. And you're just going to you're just going to fight them. There's like a dozen of them. Like realistically, how many grenades would I have had? Cuz he would have taken up as many as he could. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Three. All right. So I would have two left. I don't know if you'd necessarily be able to defeat all of the guards with just those two. No, but it would help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. If you want, I guess, are you just going to throw grenades at them? Yeah, he's going to do the two grenades. Go ahead. Roll them. Two successes. <gasps> two successes. Yes! Nice. So, you will throw the two grenades. The guards will be, you know, not expect this. They're on high alert, though. So couple of them do get hit by the blast, but the rest of the guards, because they're very well trained and knew that something was up because of the high alerts, um, they will be able to duck out of the way. Um, but as the smoke starts to clear out, you as- they're very heavily armed. So you can stay there if you want, but I don't know, you even someone like you, I don't yeah, know if no. you can necessarily Right. Like, like, brute force at least your way away from these people. Yeah, no, this so just trying to get a mental idea of where I'm at. So I'm in a hallway, I got this body, and it there's no side doors, correct? It's just a straight hallway. Yes. And then behind me is the lab and in front of me are the gardens. Correct. So in correct. front of me is where that elevator was. Where the elevator was, correct. Yeah, in that case you'd have to go back towards the lab. You wouldn't be able to get through a dozen on his own. Okay. So okay, so you'll but you'll go over towards the lab. Henry's going to go over to the systems and he's trying to hack up the alarms. Um, you'll see like him turn the monitors into the cameras, showing what the cameras are seeing. And you can see, like, I would say a dozen soldiers coming down the hallway, <sighs> passing where passing by Agatha's body. One of the soldiers will like will like find Agatha's body and will start to drag her away. Um, and with them, um, I would say in the middle of the group, you will see um, General Kerwin. You will see General Kerwin with the group. Oh, no. Well, we got in. Seems we found Victor. Frankie, Victor, you gotta stay with me. I'm sorry, Victor. I'm so sorry. I just. I needed to hold you, I needed to see you. I, I lose control. We don't have time to talk about that. Y'all, we, uh, we need to come up with an escape plan. I think I got an idea, though. It's crazy, but I think it'll work. We got friends outside, too. We can't leave them here. Wait, who's that? He says, pointing at the dead body that, the, that they're dragging right now. Not right now, Victor. We can't talk about it right now. We have to get you out. That's the number one priority. Uh, okay, Victor says. Um, 
let me just grab this real quick. And he runs over to the desk he was at, and he sees, you see, he has, he had this, like, device thing that he seemed to be, like, poking and prodding with. He puts the device into this suitcase-looking thing. And the suitcase has got, like, top secret, like, all over it. And then he grabs it, he, he, he runs out um, to look out the door, and he says, this way, he'll point that way, um, and you all will follow. You can hear, like, the footsteps running towards your direction down the hall, um, and Victor and is gonna lead you all to another section of the facility that looks like it's a, a ladder that, that takes you upwards. So, Victor will go first, and he's gonna climb up the ladder, um, he's, which is kind of difficult because he's got this suitcase that he's carrying as well. Um, and when you get to the top of the ladder, um, you all will find a roller coaster track and a roller coaster car. I think this is crazy, but Henry, do you think you can get this thing on? Because if so, this is going to be our fastest way out of here. Uh, and Henry says, I think I should be able to. Um, so he's going to start, you know, connect, connecting everything. Um, and at that point, Victor is going to jump into one of the, into the near the front of the roller coaster car. Uh, Frankie instinctively wants to sit with him, but realizes that he still can't be let go of Sam yet. So he actually grips Sam tighter um, and pulls him into another row 